We begin with a child porn suspect in Sarpy County. Today he was in court. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. Court documents indicate that 60 year old Peter Alcott believed there is nothing wrong with having photos of child porn. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is live with more. Jake. Jen Craig Alcott waived his right to a preliminary hearing in Sarpy County Court this afternoon. Now, those records also say that Alcott had a couple of different bizarre reasons as to why it was okay for him to have the child porn, even going as far as saying he was God. Papillion police start a narcotics investigation at this home in March, only to realize there was something much different going on inside. 60 year old Peter Alcott is being held on $200,000 bond and is charged with one count of felony child pornography. A Sarpy County judge bound him over for trial in district court. His defense asked for his bond to be reduced to $50,000, but the judge denied it. Uh, there's a reason that that bond's high because there are victims out there. Without people uh, who possess this child pornography, it wouldn't be being made. Uh, there wouldn't be more victims uh, made uh, unless there were people that were. Consuming or possessing that child pornography. Investigators found boxes of photos, magazines, and VHS tapes of boys between the ages of 8 and 16 in various pornographic situations. They seized 30 tapes and more than 100 photos and magazines. Alcott told police he printed the photographs from his computer. Court documents indicate that Alcott believed the images were legal as defined by the Supreme Court. He would later tell investigators he believed it was legal because he was God. Police also seize computers, thumb drives, and other electronic devices. I can only tell you right now that we're still investigating, uh, determining how many charges uh, or what other evidence there is. They are re victimized every time that uh, people look at this, these documents. So it's a very serious charge. I did try to talk to Alcott's attorney after court, but he declined comment. He will be back in court in May, where he will likely either plead guilty or not guilty. If convicted, he faces one to 20 years in prison. Reporting live outside the Sarpy County Courthouse in Papillion, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. Same